Thank you for tuning in on Cop with Comic. I'm Brian Cop, and we're here with Comic Cat Thomas. Cat Thomas, how the hell are you? I am freaking good. <laughs> good. I love freaking good. That's the way I want all my guests. I want them to be freaking good uh-huh. because, I mean, they're just funny. They're making me laugh during the quarantine. And uh, the way you're doing that is cat underscore underscore Thomas on Twitter and yeah. cat underscore MF underscore Thomas on Instagram. Are we led to believe that the MF stands for something like motherfucker? How dare you? <laughs> How dare you, sir? But this is also a way to let you know that, yes, you can curse on this podcast. Yeah. Oh, no. So that's I in the moment just now, I, I would have said fucking, but then I panicked and said. For- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, no, we're going to we're going to fuck it up and we're going to talk about the coolest stuff ever. And I guess I guess that leads us to the topics, because one funny thing, like I have my guests apply topics and then I pick the topics that are interesting to me as well. Yeah. You had a couple that worked together extremely, extremely well. One of them was write what you know is a piece of advice you heard from the one and only Steve Martin. And then you said, this sent, this sent man a whole, what the hell do I know? My life is way less interesting than Steve Martin's. And then I'm like, what are you talking about? Because one of your other topics is, um, let me look, let me see the way you phrased it. Sure, sure. Oh, perpetually down to talk about all things gay and queer. I came out as trans somewhat recently. It's fa- It's been fascinating to say the least. So I'm like, you have more important things to, you have the most important things to talk about. Steve Martin has nothing important to talk about. <laughs> well don't knock steve careful oh yeah, yeah i think I, I think i saw him once but the rule is like if i if my friend doesn't also see him i'm not really sure if i actually saw him and oh. so it's not really a confirmed sighting so yeah steve martin is great but cat thomas is better because he's on, he's on our podcast steve martin is not and so yeah cat thomas tell me about like you know what was your journey like like you know what did you know when did you know it what steps did you take yeah 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 well i guess i'll just start with uh if anybody, uh, you know, you know, I do not personally know Steve Martin. I like I I I, de- I desperately wish I did. I I took and this is very cringeworthy. I took his master class, like one of those online. Uh, Somebody things. took that. A guest of mine took that. I love that. That that shows that you know that's that's how you get to the top. You take the master class. Yeah, and no, as so I took it uh, in my pajamas, taking notes, and he's like intermittently like playing banjo and i'm like stop bragging steve <laughs> i understand that you're talented steve please just tell me how to make people laugh a little bit more so he said yeah so write what you know um and i'm thinking about you know what i know and i'm like well like gay, gay shit like i know i mean i know all about that um so that that was that whole thing but um yeah i guess in terms of my um my journey, as they say, I, uh, <laughs> my journey, my, my journey. And I can't like, you know, I think I, I don't know where in, in your journey you were when I saw this picture, but uh-huh. on Instagram, I see a picture of you at the Broadway comedy club and has a t-shirt on it says, I love vagina. <laughs> and I still maintain that. Uh, <laughs> I, I still wear the shirt sometimes. And yeah. my parents are like, fuck you. Like, why? <laughs> they're like, what are you doing? Uh, and I'm like, it's comedy you wouldn't understand. But and they do like, they're like, do you know that everybody you're going to encounter in life today is not a comedian as well? Yeah, right. And I'm like, well, <laughs> but, I assume I'm going to encounter anyone today. I plan on <laughs> sitting in my room, but yeah, thank you yeah. for that. Um, but yeah, no, yeah, my 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 journey. I um when I was a when I was a wee wee kid, um I was like, oh, I I certainly do like like vagina. I knew that, and I, I was like, okay. Well, I must be, I must be a lesbian. Although I kind of was like, you know what? I'm not a lesbian. I'm one of those cool, I'm one of those cool bi girls, okay? I'm not even gay. What are you talking about? Like, that's weird. I'm bi, you know. So I had that sort of epiphany initially. Um, and then I went to college and I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's, it's exclusively the vagina. So that was maybe, huh, four years ago. I'm about to be a senior. Okay. In the in the college, yeah. So so I I guess yeah. So I came out as a, as a lesbian then, and then a year into that, I was like, well, there's this other thing. <laughs> I was like, there's this whole other part, um, and I like I'm narrating this as though I was talking to someone. This is all in my head, you know. <laughs> I was just you know sitting in my room like existentially panicking, but it turns out you know, b- women women don't have thoughts like, what if I didn't have boobs? 
you know, like yeah. those are thoughts that like normal, that, you know, normal, that women have. And so I guess maybe two years ago, I started telling my friends, I was like, how are you guys? Oh yeah, dinner was good. I think I might be a guy. Um, you know, I, might, I started slipping it in and they were like, we know, um, <laughs> you are not subtle, but also like, okay, you know, I, I, luck, I have wonderfully loving friends. Um, and so I, yeah, I guess it was two years ago that that all started for me. Um, but I was very, what, what, what had they seen previous to that conversation that had them be like, yeah, we know. Yeah. 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 So I think it was that I kind of always, and you know, I, I just always, my friends, you know, my closest friends happen uh, often are men. Um, and they'd kind of be like, you know, my best friend, Dean, uh, who is a straight guy born, born a man, um, would be like, oh, you know, you know, women, it's hard to deal with them. And I'd be like, yeah, <laughs> as though I wasn't at the time presenting it, you know, like, and he'd be like, yeah, oh, oh, okay. Uh, he's, you know, they, women, they, women be shopping, right? Am right. I right? I'd be like, bitches, am I right? You know, like, <laughs> I was be crazy. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, I was this like nine foot, you know, pale looking you know girl so they thought with this like long hair and whatever so it was sort of I, I kind of was existing in this uh in this vessel that didn't really match what I was saying yeah and uh so about a year ago I started doing stand-up and uh most of my material was about like <laughs> women um you know and the, the vagina worked its way in there um you know <laughs> Things like that, like it was like on my T-shirt, so I had to broach the to the topic. Right, right. I, I and I will. It's horrifying that this is true, but I did. I owned that shirt before I ever used it on stage, which I feel is horrifying, but also like you know, it. That's that's kind of funny, right? You know, yeah. I checked that once. I opened a set and I was like, I owned this shirt before, and everyone was like, what? <laughs> Everyone was like, okay, like, bitch, what are you, yeah. But did you but, own, the, the, you didn't own the t-shirt before you knew you liked vagina, though? No, no, no. before that joke made its way into your set? Yes, yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah and, yeah, yeah, and I guess, like, so my question is, like, I, I talked about this with Julia Jeffries a bit. It's like, I actually said the same thing to my girlfriend when I was about 20. I said, yeah. I would rather be a woman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I've actually said that, and I said it to my cousin who's since died. Like, Like, I've said this, like, over the decades, and I think that, like, for me, I mean, it smacks of dilettantism because I don't, I'm not doing anything about it. Like, for me, I don't want to have, like, first of all, I don't want to present as a female, period. Right, right, right. I don't even know if I want female genitalia, but but I, I think I would enjoy my body more if I, if I took, you know, male to female hormones. But right. it, it's kind of like, why would I say this when, when other people are actually making the transition? And it's like, if I'm not going to, like, for me, I don't want to have a female body unless I get thin. And I, and, I have, and, I, and I have been thin before, but it's uh -huh. like, can I get thin and then go on hormones? It's like, if I'm not ready to do that, should I even talk about it publicly, especially when, you know, with people who are out and proud? Uh -huh. And of course, of course, I'm only attracted to women. And like, that's the, that's yep. the thing. Like to me, men's bodies are so repulsive that <laughs> not only do I like, you know, I'm attracted to only women. Like I right. actually think my body is fairly fucking nasty and so so right, some right. of these are like and I think there's a difference between uh, do you hate your you know like yeah you know, like so yeah isn't there like a you know certain mm -hmm. something in trans where it's like you either hate your own body or you just like the other body so much more yeah and is it black and white like that is it a binary or can it be a little bit of both so it's yeah no no that's totally that's so that that kind of like inquiry is sort of what I found myself in because yeah. I, so it's, it's a little, it was very confusing and complex because I, I used to model as like a woman. Okay. And so I had a lot of, well, obviously like, you know, a lot of elderly men, like who are very weird, like, you know, to saying, you know, it's a uh, insert, like the modeling industry is toxic plug, you know, like it's terrible, but it was a lot of like praise for presenting hyper feminine in this way and I was like also because I in you know like you I'm like I mean I have zero attraction to the male form you know yeah. and also I was yeah. like okay cool you know and I all I, at the time had a, had a very female form so I was like 
okay, you know, I, 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 I can see how I would be a, you know, a, a, like I, I could see that, how that, how the woman thing could work for me. And then I was like, okay, I, I also, I am also repulsed by the male form, but why do I, I crave it as, as my own? You know, it was this bizarre, like internal battle. Yeah. So where did it come out? If you're comfortable saying Oops. like, like why, you know, yeah. if, if the male, if the male form re- repulses you kind of like, why would you then, you know, seek mm-hmm. to present as it? I think it was like, and this kind of, I'm dealing with this now too. Cause I'm like, Oh, you know what? Awesome. I'm a straight white guy. That's they, they do great things. That's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> amazing, amazing journey there. Like I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be trans either. I didn't want to be a guy either. You know what I mean? Like in the sense that who would, who would wish that on themselves? But I, <laughs> but you're right. Like it's more like, like even when I was talking to Julie Jeffries, it's like, I wouldn't want to present as a woman because society treats them like ass, you know, and it's yeah. also, I'd, I'd be an ugly ass woman and I'd be, you know, like, like meaning like, yeah, there's, there's certain reasons why it's more convenient to kind of present as a male. And so, but, but if the kind of, so like for you, there's, mm-hmm. there's not much of a downside as, as presenting as a straight white man, right? Yeah, right, right. So that, there's certainly that. And then for me, it was a lot of like, in terms of literally realizing that there was no part of my brain that ever really was like, I'm a woman, you know, which I had to accept at a certain point, you know, which, um, yeah, no, I, I, I guess I was kind of like, it was a bunch of sappy stuff. Like I was, you know, people will ask you if you're in a lesbian relationship, they'll be like, hey, well, what are they going to call you guys? And you're like, mom and mommy, you know, and I was always like, that's dumb. Like, yeah. I was like, they're going to call me dad. You know, I had that thought, like I wanted to be a dad and yeah, no, it was stuff like that where I like really, you know, and I was like, oh my God, you know, I, you know, I would say things like when I have a wife and then I'd be like, and I'm her husband, you know what I mean? Stuff like that would just pop in. So although the the male form can be repulsive to you, like you actually like certain things about, I don't know, the the masculine role or something. It's like you're you're, you're into being a man, but not necessarily attracted to having a male form. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I'm like, you know, well, it's good as, I mean, it's good as possible. And I, I think like meaning like I, I I like the nuance. I'm glad that we're kind of like, you know, talking about the gray, like it's not binary. Like it's not, you know, are you re- repulsed by this form and att- or attracted to that form? It might be a little bit of both. And it's so right. funny that right. it's 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 nuanced as far as, yes, you can be into masculinity without being into the male form or something. And yeah. you'll correct me if I'm wrong, if that's not what you're saying. But I, and I guess my mm-hmm. question, too, is like. That's, you know, when you're in my role, it's more, you're thinking, oh, uh-huh. maybe, it's, maybe it's just low T, low right. testosterone. Uh-huh. Because, yeah, and so, like, what's the role? Had you ever had a thought before you transitioned that uh-huh. maybe it's just, a you know, a different balance of estrogen versus testosterone, and right. that's why I'm feeling this way, and yeah. why do I need to change anything whatsoever? So, yeah, no, no, good question. Just because cool. I'm thinking about that about myself. Of course, I'm not thinking about anybody else. <laughs> Yeah, no, I totally get what you're saying. Um, yeah, for me, it was a lot of like, okay, so I think the reason I, I referenced it all, that like period in my life where I was like, and this is when I'm like a child, a young, you know, a 14 year old, I was like, am I, I think the, the, the reason I thought I was ever perhaps bisexual was because I was like, okay, the sexual attraction I feel to the male form is like, non-existent but I but I had an I had this admiration for it that I wasn't sure like what to do with it like I was like you know like I was like okay I want to I want to be that now I can look back and I'm like okay that was me being like I want to be that guy you know yeah I'm not attracted to that I want to be right right yeah 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 so for me it's like like very much I was like okay let me let me like I, I know, I know, I have, I have trans guy friends who are either on low dose T or aren't even medically transitioning, and I was kind of like, no, I wanna, I really wanna go all in in the sense that like I always it, so much admired like kind of the statuesque sort of male figure or like the male figure in any form, minus any kind of like attraction towards it, and so like I feel like that was that was kind of it for me. That was, that was the line I was like, I was trying to toe, but I did, I just, I was too, I feel like I was too, you know, I really admire like the young trans kids that you see these days who like know exactly what the hell they're, they're doing and feeling at, at, at their ages. I'm like, I did not figure this shit out till I was 19, you know, not that that's like an old age, but like, compared <laughs> to you know, not that it's like, you know, I, that's still like a very small, you know, but 
compared to a lot of the, like, I feel like I bought into that too. I was like, well, I haven't known since I was like six that I was a straight like guy in my heart. I had, I didn't know that. I didn't know shit. You know what I mean? I yeah. had to kind of wait, you know, figure it out. Um, yeah. So I guess that's kind of, that's kind of that. It was like towing that, towing that line between like wanting to look like someone who wanted to be with someone. That was like my, my whole dilemma there. <laughs> yeah. And so at what point did you kind of, you know, you know, at, you know, your friends knew at some point, yeah. You know, you know are, do you talk at all about, you know, you know, any parents reaction to it? Yeah. So they, yeah, my friends were not shocked. I had a period maybe like two years ago where I, when I first started experimenting with like my, my gender presentation and, and stuff, I didn't really tell anyone except my, my closest friends. And I was using for, for a brief period, like they, them pronouns, which never, which never fit, fit for me. There are plenty of people who are gender nonconforming, but I was, you know, I'm not that I just, you know, was kind of existing in that, in that space. Um, but like, I guess, yeah, my, my, uh, yeah. So maybe that was maybe that was two years ago, a year ago. Yeah. I, I recently actually had the conversation you could say with my parents, maybe it was like March. It was that reason it was, it was mid March. Um, and everything, you know, got shut at my at school in New York, everything got shut down. They were like, get the fuck out, go home, do your online thing. I was like, Ooh. And so I was sitting at home and I, I pretty much everyone I knew and like my employer shit like that, you know, people knew that I, I am a am trans, you see him, but my, um, my kind of, I guess like, you know, that wide breadth of people, you know, like social media acquaintances, whatever, extended family, parent, you know, I was like intimate family. They didn't know. And so I, 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 posted I, I blasted this thing um and everyone was like ah, oh yeah you know and then I, I sat my parents down and I was like you guys need to take a deep breath <laughs> and you guys need to like get a glass of water you know you guys need to like, really sort of like see you guys need to sit down because water water will help because right, because you know, water will, will ease this burden yeah I was like dad sit down he was like grilling I was like no dad stop grilling like sit down uh... yeah right right so I, I told them um and they were like, oh, I, you know, they were obviously, they're very loving people. Um, and they, they weren't like, fuck you, shithead, get out of my house, you know. But they, I think they're still adjusting. Um, they, they're taking it day by day. But I think that the thing that I, I saw from my parents was that they really felt guilty for having perhaps missed something. Uh-huh. Like they, they were like, okay, you know, there, there's a lot of stress. They were like, okay, this we, okay, okay, okay. Um, what, what did we do? Like, they were like, what did we do? What did we not do? And I was like, you didn't do shit. No one did shit. This is in my head. I was like, this is, no, this is genetic makeup. I mean, you gave right. me my genes. That's about all you did. Right. I was like, what do you, like, you can't do anything to like, you know, somehow spur your child into like wishing to transition. Like there's no, you'd have to, I mean, you'd have to really try, like there's nothing you did. Um, and, and are they saying that from the perspective of, is there something we did to make it this way? Or is there something we did that had you not feeling comfortable to tell us sooner? It was the former. Yeah. Yeah. They oh. were like, is there, is there something they're like, yeah. They're like, what did we, what did we do to, to, to you know, what did, oh, how, how did we cause this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you know, I think they, they're, my dad is an immigrant, he's from Germany, and like, thick accent, so she's, she, my dad is Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> but quite literally, so his, he's an angel, but his understanding on all of this is like, man, woman, like, yeah. he just, like, he ca- he understands lesbian, and that he's like, oh, woman, woman, you know, like, he, he gets those concepts vaguely, but this was like, you know, he was like, what are you saying to me? You know, so he's, he's kind of learning my mom. She's like an Irish Catholic, you know, sort of very much tradition person. And, and I think that, that for her, she definitely like, you know, she, she knew, she knew what I was saying. And I think she's just still processing it. And and did they have anything with, I mean, were they homophobic before? They like so, meaning like, oh, here, my daughter, my, this is my daughter and she likes women. So there's something homophobic that you right. know, my religion doesn't allow that could actually be circumvented now. Because <laughs> if mm-hmm. they're like, oh, my, my daughter is actually a boy. So mm-hmm. he's a straight boy who likes women. So, I mean, if they were homophobic before, I wonder if it changes at all. 
Well, you know, that's it's funny you say that because I I tried to like crack that in. I was like, hey guys, <laughs> like, I was like, you don't have a gay kid anymore, and they were like, what? And I was like, think about it that way, and like that they were perhaps ready for that. But I had the same thought. I was like, you know, especially as I'm like once I'm you know I'm fairly new in the in the whole medical stuff. But I was like, especially at some point, you know, um, like being cis passing I was like you know I was like it'll melt you know people will forget that I ever was you know I was trying to sort of lead them into the idea that like maybe that could help help understand help have them help understand you know but um I don't know if they're there yet I think someday <laughs> yeah I don't know if they're there yet I think yeah, someday- yeah I think Jim Jeffries had a bit about that it's like my dad is barely uh yeah. you know barely getting used to the whole gay, gay thing and it's like you yeah. know thrusting the the trans thing on them they're not kind of ready but I'm looking at your pinned tweet tweet right now and it has something about sims and it's like yeah back when I back when I played sims I played a woman yeah yes 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 so it's just like yeah but i mean do i even talk about it you know when there's people actually transitioning and going on hormones it's like can you talk about it before you before you take these steps i don't know i mean at the very least you could talk about it with somebody but like should i even be you know talking about these things with queer people if i'm not you know if i'm not doing the things that transgender people who you know hate their body actually do you're right yeah no no it's it's hard because so like back back in my vagina shirt days um I, yeah yeah yes vagina yeah. shirt days i love back, it back in the vagina shirt days I, I was i was less like i wasn't quite as publicly out and i still had the you know now i i like now i i get i get sir a lot if i walk into a public space just because i'm i'm six one and like very broad and you know the short hair the chest binder all of those you know people tend to just kind of peg me which is a blessing um peg me as male but back in you know that was not true a year ago. Um, and so I, I kind of, I felt that a lot. I was like, okay, how, how do I talk about this while I look like this? Um, and I kind of just, I think just now I'm, now I'm about, a, I'm about a month out from, from starting testosterone, which will be, you know, it, which will be fat. I'm sure I'll be rambling about it on Twitter in no time, but yeah, yeah, I wonder how it's going to change certain things because that's, you know, yeah. that's, you know, if I ever went on estrogen, it's like, would I start being emotional at shit? Like, like, so like, these are the things that we're going to pay attention to because we want to see how your Instagram changes over time. We want to see if testosterone is going to affect your funny. And the uh-huh. way we're going to do that is cat underscore underscore Thomas <laughs> at Twitter and cat underscore MF underscore Thomas at Instagram. He is a funny motherfucker. Cat Thomas, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. I'm, I'll ramble away anytime.